Welcome to Power System Experts. This is Power Electronics series with PSCAD and today we will be modeling and simulating a single phase bridge voltage source inverter in PSCAD. Let's open PSCAD. Go to PSCAD new and create a new case and name it inverter. Save it. Go to master library and go to power electronics library. Select an IGPT from here and a diode from here. We missed the IGPT. Let's disable this number circuit and interpolation grid pulse. Name this IGBD as S1. Let's disable this number circuit in the diode also. There are four switches in an HBC inverter. So make four copies of these two. Now you might be wondering why is the diode here. So there is always a diode uh, as a body diode in every IGBT. This uh, serve for, serves for conducting the inductive current back into the source when the switch is turned off uh, abruptly or instantaneously. So uh, we need a source. Let's go to sources and copy this source. We will make it the DC source. Make it a, it's a DC source, it's an ideal DC source. It's signal parameters set it to 1 kilowatts, 1 kilovolt, 1 kilovolt, and set this ramp of time to 0 0.001. That's enough. And let it just ideal, ideal voltage source. That's good. Uh, we will also need a capacitor here because our load is going to be inductive. Place this capacitor uh, in parallel with the source. So uh, let's connect everything first. In this way, we are going to connect rest of our, our circuit. We have connected the edge bridge. Now let's uh, connect the load. Inductor and the capacitor will make our load. We are uh, considering their default values here. Let's connect an MVP for current measurement to the inductor and a voltmeter to measure the voltage across the load. Let's connect these things. Connect this capacitor first. Now we need the switching pulse generating circuit. So let's go to master library, go to common single functions, select this function generator from here, and go to the logical li blocks library and select this inverter here. Go to parameters of this function generator. The frequency is x to 60 hertz by default. It's good. Signal type will be a pulse with 50% per second. Maximum output level is 1 and minimum output level is 0. Uh, connect this function generator with the inverter. Take a data level, place it here and name it G1. G1. Take another data label, place it in the output of inverter and name it G2. Let's uh, name these switches. Uh, this is S1. This will be S2. 
this will be S3 and this will be S4 during operation of inverter S1 and S3 uh, conduct simultaneously so we will give them the same switching signal there is a data label here and name it G1 G1 copy this label and place it at the gate of G3 also copy this G2 paste it on the gate of S4 and S2 also Now we need output channels for this voltmeter and ammeter. Bring an output channel here, name it load voltage. Scale it by 1000. And give its unit watt. Take another output channel, name it load current. Take a data label here, uh, place it in the input of this load voltage output channel and name it EA. EA, this is the name of our voltmeter. Take another data label, place it on here and name it IA for measurement of uh, load current. Okay, so everything is here. Now uh, go to project. Then we have simulation for five, 500 milliseconds. Stimulation step is 50 microseconds, that's good. And the plot step, uh, make it 50 also, 50 microseconds. Now let's run the simulation. Place output graphs for these output channels. We need a ground for our system. Reference ground, place it here. This is connected with the negative side of the source. Therefore, run it again. Place this output channel for load current. So the simulation is running successfully. Press R to set your range for your output channels and Run it again because it's not displaying the graph for load current. Now it's displaying it. Let's zoom in for last few cycles. It's a scale wave at the, across the load voltage and it's positive and negative, negative. So it's an AC voltage, scale wave AC voltage. And let's observe the load current. Uh, we have not scaled this uh, graph for load current. Let's scale it by 1000 because the default scale in ESCAD is kilo amperes or kilo volts therefore we are scaling uh, putting a scaling factor of 1000 keep the unit amperes now rerun the simulation so you see a triangular current across the through the load. Uh, the current is triangular because of uh, the inductive nature of the load. You know that inductor does not uh, permit an instantaneous change in current. Therefore, the current is gradually increasing and gradually decreasing, which makes it uh, triangular. Uh, if, the, our, if our load uh, is uh, purely resistive, the current waveform will also be a square wave. Let's check it. Uh, make this load my, uh, in nano -hundries very small inductance this will make our I also increase this resistance to 10 ohms so the load has very much resistance as compared to inductance now the output current waveform should be very close to a square wave can you see here it's just like a square wave so, so this is the simulation of a voltage source inverter in SCAT.
see you in the next session thank you